Hey guys, what is going on? This is Carnivore 5. Today I have another player review for you guys. We're going to be talking about another live series pitcher, and this is going to be Zach Britton. He's a closer now. Was a reliever move to the closer. 92 overall gold. Uh, not quite yet a diamond. That's debatable. I think he honestly should be a diamond, but I'm going to go ahead and base uh, this review off his gold status. And if he goes with a diamond, it makes him that much better. His per nine just could probably go up a little bit. Anyways, uh, so Zach Britton. Uh, let's start talking about him here. He comes with 28 stamina. Uh, the per nines, hits per nine, K per nine are pretty dang good. Um, he usually plays up. Some days, I guess, some days he will play down. It's usually just by uh, like plus one or plus two, plus three, and then maybe minus two or three. I don't really think the inside edge affects his card too much. Um, so I went to go pick this card up and base it off inside edge alone. Plus, when the season ends, inside edge will no longer be applicable. Anyways, let's talk about his pitches. He comes with four pitches. Comes with a 95 mile an hour sinker with 91 break. Now that's pretty much the same as Arietta's. I think that's exactly the same. Also good control on his sinker. Now he's this is a weird pitcher. Uh, his two seamer is slower than his sinker, which is weird. Has less break, and his four seamer is even slower than all um, the rest of his fastballs. It's only 93 miles an hour. He also comes with a really good slider with 97 break. Uh, so really, you're going to utilize two different pitches of Zach Britton: sinker, slider. Yeah, you can mix a four-seamer here and there. I wouldn't really ever use the two-seamer because it's slower and doesn't have as much break. But you can mix in the four-seamer if they start compensating for that downward sink on the sinker and then throw that four-seamer every now and then to throw them off. Anyways, uh, this is a great closer. One of the best lefties in the game. Um, he, I think he's a tad bit better than Andrew Miller just because he has a sinker. And Andrew Miller, uh, although he has four pitches, Zach Britton, he's really like a two-pitch pitcher, kind of like... Andrew Miller is, I guess, but Andrew Miller has a good two-seamer, but I'll take that sinker over the two-seamer anyways. Anyways, guys, if you don't have this card, you should probably go get him. He's still super cheap and get him for anywhere from 4,000 to 6,000 stubs. Next, we're going to go into pitching practice, and I'll give you a few pointers on how I like to pitch with Zach Britton, so make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, so first, guys, I do want to show you the break on each of his pitches, starting with the sinker. This thing is absolutely nasty. If you start it in the middle here, that's the break you're going to get again has 91 break and I think that's exactly the same as Arietta plus the Velos at 95 that's an amazing sinker that means you're gonna be able to throw up to 96 97 high in the zone uh, definitely make sure you utilize that pitch I'll show you the other fastballs really quick however I don't really recommend using his other fastballs maybe like I said you can mix in his four seamer uh, but here's his two seamer it has a little bit different movement but I really don't see a need to use it because it just doesn't have as much break I guess um, yeah I honestly really wouldn't use a two seamer at all I mean it's in between the four seamer and sinker so Maybe if you think your opponents are just really on the sinker and you think they can react to the fastball, maybe try the two-seamer. But I still say no, don't really use it. Here's the four-seamer. Uh, it doesn't have much break, 47 break, but uh, it can be thrown anywhere from 93 to 95 miles an hour. Finally, his out pitch is going to be his slider. This thing has 97 break. And anyways, if we look at the slider, you start it from here, you can see it has a lot of break. If you start it in the middle, it's almost going to the uh, outer you know, corner there, so it has a lot of break. And like I said, this slider has a lot of downward tilt to it. It's almost like a slurve. It has it's almost like I don't know. It's almost like a curveball, but it just has a really good break. To me, it almost looks like a slurve. Some sliders are almost directly across, which I prefer the sliders a little bit more uh, downward tilt. So, anyways, let's get into how I like to pitch Arietta, starting with lefties. Now, Arietta or not Arietta, call him Arietta, but Zach Britton. Uh, Zach Britton uh, against lefties. There's a lot of different things you can do, but like I said, you're, he's pretty much a two-pitch pitcher in my opinion. That's going to be a sinker slider. So, uh, pretty simple guys. Start your sinker middle in, anywhere on the plate. Um, if they start to hit that, uh, then you throw your slider. You can also throw your sinker on the outside edge if they're starting to lay off the slider. Pretty straightforward stuff, guys. I'm not really going to get too much into it, but utilize the sinker slider. He's a, pretty, he's a pretty easy pitcher to use just because his velo and break almost takes over and does the work for you plus his per nines are amazing um, so yeah let's just go ahead and show a couple sinkers here I like to work in on the hands it's probably one of my favorite pitches in the game and against people that really quick bats this pitch is still super effective because you'll get them to roll over a lot yeah every now and then um, they'll hit it I mean every pitcher in this game is hittable to an extent but this is in my opinion a top three left-handed reliever um, I'd give him the slight edge over Andrew Miller I was big on Andrew Miller there for a while I just like this guy's sinker so much better than Andrew Miller's two-seamer. And that's exactly what I like to do against lefties. Now against righties. Um, there's a few different things you can do. You can start the sinker like up and away or middle away. Trust me, you get a lot of people to chase this, even if you throw it like right here. 
That's a really good pitch. And then something else you can do if you actually do want to utilize that four seamer, you can utilize it against righties. Throw it up here. And then what you want to do based off that, remember to keep the same, uh, change the eye level on them and then keep the same arm slot as you want to throw that slider about middle end right here. And it's really, it's really devastating. Plus you can throw the slider down and in. I almost feel like you can almost throw the slider just straight down too because it's almost like a curveball. But pretty simple stuff guys to pitch with a Zach Britton. See if we can get him swinging at the slider. Good hit by the computer there. But that's going to work a lot online guys, trust me. Pretty simple pitcher to use. Next we're going to get into some uh, clips for you guys and break those down, so stand by. Alright, so time for some gameplay. Now this is Britain against the righty. I think this is actually a rod, and you guys see here. I'm just attacking with sinkers middle in. Yeah, it's such a hard pitch to to be looking for, especially when you've thrown a few sliders inside and just mix in the sliders here and there. Here's a slider inside. Get him swinging, and then we get a one-two count, and we're gonna go ahead and try another sinker middle in. See if we can get him looking. We hang it a little bit, missed our spot, but like I said, the pitch is so dirty it'll miss uh, it'll miss bats and it'll make people. Uh, be a little bit off with their PCI. Here we go back with another slider down and in. And just like I said, you can almost throw that slider straight down. It's almost like a uh, a curveball or a slurve. Here's a lefty, and this is where Britain shines at. Um, if you guys are wondering, is can Britain be used against righties? I just showed you, and I think the question, the answer is yes. He can be used against righties and lefties. I think Andrew Miller is closer to more of just a left-handed only specialist. Although I do think he can get righties out, but I think Britain is just a little bit better at getting righties out. Anyways. Uh, we got our opponent to a 2-1 count. We're just going to attack with a sinker middle in. Like I said, you pretty much have to be looking for sinker or slider. Even if you are looking for him, it's still tough to hit. And we're going to attack him right back with a fastball middle in. And we get him to pop out to Beltre to end the inning. Now here's another righty. Um, again, we try to start him off with a sinker in. You're going to you're going to see a trend here, guys. Sinker, slider, sinker, slider, sinker, slider. Here we throw a sinker away. That's another way you can use a sinker against righties. You can throw the sinkers away, as you can see me doing right here. I throw a sinker away. I think this is actually to sh eh. I can't even see who's batting, to be honest. But here is a slider middle in, and we get him swinging right there on that pitch. Like I said, if you throw those middle in sliders, and you're setting those up with fastballs, you know, high and away, it'll work really well. Now, this is against the Shara. Try to bust them in with a slider. And then we're going to go with a sinker away here. So after seeing that slider, he's a little bit uh, late on that not good contact and I don't know where his PCI was but it looked like he was way under it so he's probably looking slider there and we get an easy fly out to center field here's another game we have we have a 1-1 count uh, against the lefty and we just throw a slider away easy out Britain gets the job done guys I'm telling you if you're looking for a left-handed not only a left-handed specialist but a guy that can get righties out as well he's a great guy to have in your bullpen I usually like to carry four lefties as well um, and my lefties I have Zach Britton Chapman and Wagner. I also have Andrew Miller. I'd say three out of four of those guys can also get righties out. So I love going to those guys early in the game, especially if my opponents stack against right-handed pitchers. Anyways, this is against Altuve. As you can see there, I throw the sinker front door. Here we do try the uh, four seam up a little bit. Um, he didn't offer at it, so we're going to go back with a slider middle in. We set him up with it with that high fastball, and he was swinging. Or he was wanting to swing at that. Checked the swing, but uh, or didn't check a swing there. And here we have Reggie Stalker. You know, one of the best players in the game. We just challenge him, sinker middle in. He's extremely late. And then we go with the slider away, just mixing it up. Honestly, guys, it's it's totally up to you how you want to pitch with him. As long as you just read your opponent's bat speed and you mix it up, you'll be fine with Britain. He's going to get the job done for you guys. Here's another sinker middle in. And even if you guys miss with a sinker, like, that's a lot of, of the middle of the plate right there, you still get away with a lot of those pitches. And finally put him away with a slider down and away. All right, so I'm going to show you guys some more gameplay clips. Now, again, another righty. Again, we're just going to bust the slider middle in. Just going to lay off it there. And like I said, go back to the sinker. Bam. So if you guys watch like my Arietta review, I mean, I pitched pretty similar to with uh, Zach Britton here, just throwing sinker, sliders, sinker, sliders, sinker, sliders, and it's how good he is. Here we actually get a ground ball to A-Rod to end the inning. So that sinker, it's going to get you weak hits. It's going to get you grounders gonna get you you know it's gonna get you uh, pop-ups it's gonna get you strikeouts here we have a one-two count I this might be Mauer batting and we're gonna throw a slider down and away 
missed our spot a little bit. Something else that's kind of underrated about Britain, he, he also has really good control, similar to uh, Andrew Miller. Very good control. There we tie him up with a sinker middle in. He just wasn't ready for it. And next batter, he has a right-handed hitter. Slider middle in, just out in front a little bit. Like I said, if you th you know if you throw a slider middle in, it's going to mess up a lot of bats. So just make sure to utilize it and mix it up. Here we go with another slider. About hit him there. And we're going to go back to a another slider. We hung that one a little bit. He got decent wood on it, but, you know, Zach Britton also has great per nine, so it's going to make it difficult to score at pitches in there. We do get a deep fly out, but like I said, even if you hang him, uh, they don't always hit him well anyway. So uh, here is Chu batting. This guy pretty much doesn't have a chance with Chu. He's not a good hitter versus lefties and slider away. Get him out in front there. We're going to go back with another slider and get him way out in front. So. Hey, if your opponents can't hit it, keep throwing it. I mean, Zach Britton, you're not really out there to try to fool them. Um, you're more or less just trying to put it in a spot to where uh, you feel like it's gonna they're going to have a hard time getting their PCI on. I mean, your opponents pretty much know they're, you know a sinker or slider is coming. So at some point, they're going to guess correctly sinker or slider. It's up to you to execute the pitches and mix them up best as you can. Um, even if they're guessing the pitch, like I said, it's extremely hard to time up and put your PCI on it. Uh, so just make sure you guys stay with it you know, as best you can there. And here, this is against Tony Gwynn. Um, as you can see here, he just has no chance against the sinker. And he eventually just tries to bunt, which, meh. I mean, it pretty much shows you that he just couldn't hit the ball. So he tried to bunt against uh, Britain and it didn't work out there for him. And one final clip we have for you guys. And here in this final clip, we're just going to challenge him with a sinker middle in. And this is also the type of ouch you will get. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Zach Britton's good. Go get him. He's cheap. Make sure to like and sub. Thanks for watching this. Carnal number five signing out. Peace.